Hey guys, it's KJ48. And this is Angel's Curse. And welcome to our brand new Let's Play. This is going to be Husband and Wife, Seven Days to Die, Multiplayer Server Let's Play. Yay! Yay! Um, this is Alpha 10. This is going to be Season 8 of my Let's Play series uh, for Multiplayer. And this is Episode 1. Okay, so yeah, uh, Seven Days to Die won the vote. And uh, we are in... The, oh, I'm just going to let you guys know I teleported to her quickly just so we can get together because um, Angel's Curse or Autumn, I guess I'll call you Autumn since your Indian name is Autumn, is a total noob. So um, uh -huh. I want to, I, you know what, I'll explain it. We've got to get out of here. This is a bad spot to be in. This I is, don't know how to run. Okay, there we go. Oh, hold on. Yeah. Now, this is the uh, industrial area and this is where all the big baddies are. And most of the, actually, is that a good spot to go? Yeah, I don't know. We'll go this way. Um, I'm just gonna you guys know uh, right away. I have turned down the difficulty um, in all aspects. Uh, the loot is on a hundred percent, so that's not turned down. That's normal. Uh, but I did turn down the zombie spawns a little bit, uh, and I also turned down the difficulty of the overall game to normal because uh, I didn't want Autumn like getting killed over and over. It would really discourage her, make her not want to play. So um, for now. Uh, these are the settings, and we will eventually turn those settings up. Uh, but for now, that's the way they're going to be. Stay with me and avoid these guys. Yeah. Keep it on your stamina, too. Do you understand what the... Uh, uh, this is going to be me teaching her how to play, too. So if you're a new player to the game, this is going to be an excellent series for you guys to watch. Um, so, do you understand... Oh, God. This, the, is a, this is a really bad spot to be in. The red is your health. Follow me. The dark blue is your stamina. The green is your hunger. And the light blue is your thirst. But... That's right. And I remember how to kind of make a, a, a the one item that you make at the beginning of the game. The plant fire is the stick and the yeah and the yeah. stone. That's what we're gonna make. But the one thing we gotta do is get the hell out of this place. Um, this is the industrial area, and it is it is uh, riddled with dogs. And dogs. I at don't this... like dogs. Yeah, dogs at this point in the game will kill us, dead. Um, we almost can't kill them. Like really. Uh, if, if a dog came at me, I'll hit it with my torch. Uh, anytime you hit something with a torch, there's a chance that it will light, it'll light the uh, zombie on fire. So that's what I would do and hope for the best. But yeah, um, it's really not a good way to go. I'm also going to hit these uh, coolers for food items. Stay with me. All right. right behind you. Here we go. Yeah, that's a bad spot to be in. We are not going in there anytime soon. We will eventually go in there. Uh, usually I live in there if I'm looking for a challenge, but, you know, since we're, uh, trying to teach you, we won't, we won't be going in there anytime soon. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, let's go this way. Uh, do you want me to pick up yellow flowers along the way? Yes, pick up yellow flowers, pick up white flowers, pick up stones. And right over here would be a good spot. I'm going to, we're going to punch some grass here. Go ahead and punch some grass. Um, and then we gotta move. After you get your grass, we gotta move. I think I got grass. Yes, I did. I got one grass. Yes, yeah, so if you if you hold down the E key, it uh, sucks everything up in the area. So I got that. I remember okay. that much. Okay. All right. So um, we're gonna look for. But what we're, lo we're looking for now is brown uh, brown bushes that kind of look bur like burnt bushes, uh, and that's where we're gonna get our sticks from. So let's uh. Where'd you go? Okay, there you are. I see you. Never mind. Later on, we get a chance. I'll teach you how to put me on track, um, and that way. Uh, I think I you... remember. It's M, and then like, yeah. Don't don't do it now. Me. Don't do it now, though. Okay, black bush, black bush. I don't see any. Oh, here's a stump. Okay, nothing good in there. Oh, here's one. Oh, okay. We're gonna kill this guy. Oh, am I? Alright, move away, move away, let him burn! Oh! Oh, Jesus. Oh, he's on fire, too. And I got my stick. Okay. <laughs> um, let's get out of here. This is... We got a lot of zombies in the area. Oh, God. Fire. Not really a lot of zombies, but considering the weaponry we have, it's it might as well be, like, a horde. Maybe you should put your torch away, that way they it doesn't, don't know that... Yeah, it doesn't matter. There is a stealth mechanic in the game, but we gotta be fast here. 
Alright, keep a lookout. Um, I don't see any... Oh, here's one. Okay, hold on. Alright, I'm coming over here. And I'm gonna go ahead and make an axe. You can make your axe too if you know how to do it. You, um, you gotta put one stone in the middle and you'll get a sharpened stone. You put the grass in the middle. I didn't uh, grab a stone. You haven't been grabbing stones off the ground? No. Oh. Alright, grab a stone off the ground. Oops. Yeah, little okay, rocks there right go. there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you put that in the middle to give you a sharpened stone. And then, uh, one stick, uh, grass. No, you gotta put the fiber. grass in the middle and make plant fiber. Yeah. Plant fiber and a rock. Come on. And then you, it goes you, in a line, right? If you search up, no, search, search uh, at the top for axe, and it'll be stone axe. I'll show you exactly how to make it. did it. Okay. Well, this seems to be uh, pretty decent. Why don't you go ahead and beat this rock right here and grab some of the stone and I'm going to grab a tree. Alright, so the next thing we're going to make is a crossbow. Okay. Oh, that made a lot of noise. When you're done with that, um, go ahead and grab two pieces of grass. And turn them into plant fibers, I'm gonna guess. Yes. Um, we right, get the hell out of here. What, yeah, one sec. Alright. Alright, let's go. Follow me. Go this way. We have we have been discovered. So um, we're gonna need uh, sticks for your crossbow. I will give you sticks since I chopped down the tree. But for now, let's just um, let's look around. Yeah, we can go this way. Let's go this way. I think we should just build like a little shelter right here in the middle of the road. That'd be kind of cool. Problem is we have to defend this area. Here, watch my back. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make some crossbow bolts. Uh, what do I need? What do I need? There we go. Okay. Oh, there's an elk. Yeah. Look at that. Oh no. Honestly, I don't really know if I want that food on me anyway. Yeah, not right now. Basically, what you're gonna do is when you try and kill a zombie, you're gonna kind of. Move in, attack for the head, and move out. And you're going to start attacking before you get close enough to hit him. Nothing on him. Okay. Alright, I guess this is as good a spot as I need to build. Here, take these. Turn those into sticks. Turn your turn those into sticks, then turn your plants into plant fibers. Then look up the crossbow recipe. Crossbow. Okay. And isn't this like really OP? Uh, crossbow? yeah, yeah, it's pretty OP. But you gotta be good with it. You know, you gotta be able to hit things with it. It might take a little bit of a uh, practice, but you'll get it. Crossbow. There we go. What the? Okay, this is bullshit. What? Never mind. I ended up making two wooden clubs for some oh. reason. But I could also make my crossbow, which was fine. Okay, yeah, wooden clubs, just a little bit of wood. So now you're going to take your stones and you're going to put those in the middle, make them all sharpened stones. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to give you some of these feathers. You pick these up with the bird's nest, so go ahead and grab those feathers. And then, and then put the wood in the middle and make sticks. And then with the sticks, the feathers, and the sharpened stone, you can make the bolts. And can I just craft all of them into... Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Cross. All right. 
I now has ammo. Alright, watch out. You got a, you got a zombie on you, but I gotta loot this guy first. Beautiful. Okay, he, oh, he's on me. Never mind. Why can't I... Do I have to press... You got an R, R to oh, reload yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so now what we gotta do is we gotta just get a bunch of trees. So just start hitting trees with your axe. We gotta get a bunch of wood. And keep a lookout and pick cotton anytime you can. Because we're gonna need the cotton. Actually, we should probably pick cotton first. How much cotton do you have? Uh, hold on. Because you need 12. I have three. Okay. Um, here, I'll pick the cotton. You can chop down the trees. Just keep a lookout and keep your ears open for any zombies. And what'll happen is, guys, um, as we get better uh, equipped in the game and we start getting more stuff, we will turn up the difficulty. Uh, we're only going to start off on this difficulty, but we'll definitely turn it up at some point. How many trees do you want me to cut down? If you keep cutting them down, we're going to get a lot. Okay. Alright. We're going to make spikes, right? Yep. Spikes OP. Spikes are so OP. Okay, let's see if I can kill this guy without getting hit. I feel so short. That's funny, because you're not. <laughs> I know. That zombie seemed to be, like, towering over me. Now you know what I go through every day. Yeah. Oh, oh there's airdrop. a plane! Uh, we're not. Nah, let, let him go. Oh. We got more important things to do. If we don't get the base built, we're screwed. Yeah, it's already noon, so... Yeah. yeah. Are you good at telling military time? Because I'm not. Uh, kind of. I have to think about it for like a second, but then I'm out. I'm good. Alright, you gotta die now. Be careful up there if anything comes over the hill. I almost have a full stack of logs. Bank. It's 64, right? Yeah. Yeah, almost a full stack. Oops. One, two. One, two. There we go. All right, here, take these. Take hold this on. cotton. Uh, and this, you should have nine with that. Just hold down E while you're chopping down the tree. That should give you nine. You're going to need 12, so I'll, I'll pick it three more. Nine, ten. I see one right here. I have, okay. a, I have ten now. Okay, oh, okay. No, Eleven. Okay, so come meet me at the crossroads. Um, yep. Right, I see one more cotton that I want to grab. Hold on. Okay. Oh, I'm getting hungry. Alright, don't worry about it. Alright. Now I'm going to throw some cotton on the ground right here. You're just going to pick it up. You're going to take all the cotton and you're going to put half in the middle box and half in the box above the middle box. And it should give you uh, cloth. I have 14, so you want me to do 7 and 7? Yeah. Okay, cloth fragment, right? Yes. Now you're gonna now you're gonna look up um, what is it called? Sleep. Just type in S L E, and that'll show you the sleeping bag. Make the sleeping bag. Put it in your hand and place it down. That's gonna be your spawn point if you die. I think we're definitely gonna turn up the difficulty. I learn fast. Yeah. At least the amount of zombies. Um, but what, we'll, what we'll do, guys, is we will ramp up the difficulty in steps. We'll turn up the zombies. We'll turn up... Um, well, there's two ways you can turn up zombies. There's zombie hordes, and then there's overall spawning of zombies. And I'll turn both of them up. And then, if it's still too easy, we can turn the difficulty itself up. Which, difficulty itself means it takes us more hits to kill the zombies, and they do they, we do less damage to the zombies, and they do more damage to us. That'll be the last... The last piece of difficulty I'll turn up because I think it's kind of lame difficulty, to be honest. 
Okay, uh, just split the stack in half by uh, the stack of wood in half by right clicking it and drop half the stack. Eh. Eh. There it goes. Okay, now split the stack of wood in half again and put half of the stack in the middle and turn them all into wood planks. Alright. Alright, now type uh, search for a chest and make a secure storage chest. And put it at the foot of your sleeping bag. Ugh, damn it! <laughs> I can't pick that up either, can okay. I? Okay, <laughs> search- don't worry about it, it's, it's not that important. Search for frame, okay? And what you're looking for is wood frame. You got it? Yeah, I did. Okay, now put make make one wood frame. And then what you're going to do is you're going to hold shift and left click on the word wood frame. And it's going to make all wood frames. Should be about 40 or so. Did you get that? Now I do. Okay. Alright, so next thing you're going to do is look up wood log spike. Wait. Actually, you can just do spike and wood log spike, and make the rest of your wood into wood log spikes. I only have 27 wood frame. Okay, that's alright. It's fine. Wait, what am I doing now? Wood log spikes. Log spike. Or just want me to make the rest of them into wood log spikes? Yes. Okay, so what is that? That's, um, one, two, three, four, five. Yep, five. That's fine. And I one, have twelve. One, two, three, four, five. Mm. Make the doorway right here. Do you want me to just hand you all of my my frames and my spikes? No, what I want you to what I want you to do is um start laying down the the wood spikes. Now listen to me carefully. Okay, wait one sec. One, two. Three, four, five. Start laying down the wood spikes on the outer edge, but don't put any where the door is. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, Freaking piece of crap phone, shut up. Okay. There you go. And what I'll do is I will upgrade them. If I can get wood. Yeah. That's all the spikes I had. Okay, go ahead and cut down some more trees. Yeah, this is um, this is a nice start, but uh, I think I'll actually turn off the zombies in between this video and next. Okay. I mean, this is kind of what it's like in this game, anyway. Like, if you cr if you clear out an area like we just did. Um, it's, it does stay cleared out for a little while. Um, so this is about normal, but I don't want to have not enough zombies, so. Okay. So what I'm doing right now is I'm upgrading the house just with the repair tool. When you walk in the front door, be very careful not to hit the spikes. At least until we get some healing items. Don't worry, I always avoid the spikes as much as possible. Yeah, it's gonna be hard because we're gonna have spikes on both sides of the door. So you enjoying the game then, or so far? Or? It's cool. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Minecrafty, you know. Kinda. Except more danger, but I think that it's, it's scaly. I think the difficulty's down low enough where it's not that bad. Yeah, uh, for you guys wanting a challenge and uber zombie hordes and crazy stuff, um, this is probably not going to be the video series for you, at least not in the first couple videos. Um, this is going to be more relaxing, just us hanging out, um, talking, and just trying to, you know, get something built. But like I said, we will turn up the zombies at least in the next video because uh, yeah, this is this is light even for, even for uh, autumn. Time for me to help cut down some trees. Uh, 
And if you see any bird's nests, make sure you loot them. And if you're hungry, go ahead and eat your uh, chili and drink your water. Oh, I'm actually quite hungry. You gotta keep your hunger up. Dying is a big deal in this game because of the... Uh, that's another thing, guys. If it was just us dying and restarting, it wouldn't bother me so much. But the thing is, with the way wellness works in this game, dying is very punishing. Um, so we're going to avoid it at all costs. So yeah, basically what I did was there's um, there's a zombie horde thing that we, we usually have at 70. I turned it down to default, which I think is 50. And then there's a zombie percentage spawn thing, um, which is usually at 150%, which is max. I turned that down to like 100, and I think 125 or 100%, which is default. Um, and then there's the overall difficulty of the game, which I usually have on Warrior. Um, I turned it down one level to normal, so... Uh, we'll definitely up the amount of zombies, but that warrior difficulty we're gonna keep for a couple of videos just to, you know, because the Get thing because autumn the way the thing the way wellness works is wellness is like is your hit points and your stamina. Um, so if you start off with 100 wellness, and if it goes down to like say hypothetically speaking, your wellness goes down to 50, um, that means your hit points and stamina can never go above 50 percent. Um, now, well, now wellness will come back by eating properly and taking care of yourself, but it does take a while. By the way, I saw a big zombie. Wow, that was oh, that was cool. I just shot a deer, and um, I was like, wow, I didn't hit him. Like I thought I hit him, and um, he actually died. He uh, he started bleeding out. So I I shot him and I hit him, but um, he actually uh didn't die from the shot, which was kind of weird. That's weird. I usually kill them in one shot. Also, you don't want to keep raw meat on you, because it does smell, and that will attract zombies. My thing is almost broken, so I... Yeah, you can come back. Uh, don't don't repair it. Uh, you can actually make a new one. That's going to be the only time you do not repair stuff, okay? When we get real tools, you have to remember to repair your tools. Don't let them break. Because it's like really, really bad when you just let your tools break. But this is the one instant instance where re making a new one is just flat out better. <laughs> it's kind of messed up. So you want me to just use it until it's dead? Yeah, and then make a new one. Or make a new one first, and then, you know. Dead. How much uh, wood do you have? Uh, wood, 64 logs, plus one. Okay. Make half of them into spikes and put whatever you can around the house. No, where's my logs? There they are. And what did you just say? I'm sorry, I was doing something else. Um, make half of them into spikes and then continue putting them around. Don't put any in front of the door. But other than that, you could put them everywhere around the base. Just one level. We only need one layer of spikes. A lot of people think you need multiple layers of spikes. You really don't. Oh, that's one thing that's different about um, this world is block durability is on 50%. Um, we purposely left the block durability on 50%. Um, that basically means when you hit trees, when you dig, when you break rocks, um, it's half its durability. Now, a lot of people think that's cheap because it's like too easy to mine and stuff, but it's not really. We actually leave block durability on 50% because it's easier for the zombies to break through. Um, because one problem with this game is zombies can't break walls. They're just, once you put the spikes on the other side of the walls, the zombies just don't have enough power to break through. Because every time they get hurt on a spike, it interrupts their animation and does damage to them. So it's kind of, that's why spikes are OP. Um, we, we kind of negate that a little bit by putting block durability in 50%. Now, cutting down trees, digging out stone, all that stuff. Yeah, you want it to be somewhat challenging, but let's face it, that's kind of boring sometimes, especially on a let's play. So I don't mind chopping down trees or digging out stone or anything to be a little bit faster than usual. Uh, and at the same time, if it, if it gives the zombies a boost and uh, Autumn, turn this spikes and put them around the house. Oh, sorry. Um, so yeah, so you understand what I'm saying though about the block durability, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it just makes it like, the zombies are more dangerous, and I don't have to spend so much time cutting down trees and breaking through stones. Although I think on my single player series, block durability is still at 100%, but I don't know. I honestly don't remember. And then you can go ahead and upgrade them with your repair tool. You just hold down right click. 
Just repair them to the first layer. Don't use any of your metal on the second layer. All right, guys. Um, we're going to call this one here because that's my timer. So that's going to be it for episode one. And we'll see you next time for episode two. Till then, take it easy. Bye, everybody.